Okay, so this is World War II Rebuilder, Cities from the Ashes. What is it? Well, in World War II Rebuilder, you will make cities destroyed in the World War II come back to life. Use various equipment, heavy equipment, to clear away debris and grab the bricks yourself to rebuild the walls of houses where people will live happily once again. How's it going, everyone? This is World War II Rebuilder. We're going to be taking a look at this. This is just the beta. It's not out yet. But if you want to go add it to your wish list and you like what you see, you can go ahead and go on Steam and do that. Um, at least as the recording of this video, maybe even as it's you know, uploaded to YouTube, you might be able to go join the beta yourself. Just go and type it in on Steam and you might be lucky to join the beta also. Yeah, so we're going to be taking a look at this. It's going to be a let's look at, of course. Um, if you want to see this become a series when it does uh, fully release, let me know. Hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, come on over, subscribe. We have a lot of different kinds of videos here. Simulation, tycoon management type games. And then let's get ahead and jump into some World War II rebuilder oh my lord so yeah this is going to be mostly a just blind jump in uh i have no idea i have not watched any videos of it it's kind of just going in right and so one thing that actually stands out to me is obviously the map selection here which is really cool so you have the united kingdom which is going to be the beta i guess beta test right that beta country that we use but in the future are you going to be able to use all different kinds of countries probably maybe um Maybe in the beta you get the United Kingdom, France, and West Germany. I'm not sure. But yeah, Europe. Skill tree. Collectibles. Skill tree, yeah? Oh, wow. Oh, there's going to be a lot to this game. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't want to get too much into that. I don't want to, like, I just want to see. I just want to experience it right now. All right, so here we go. Country completion. Ah, yes, I see. Now, uh, this is the Bibberry. Bibberry. Uh, pronounce any pronunciation is going to be my uh, fail here. Uh, tutorial level. Though ground combat had bypassed your native Britain, native Britain, uh, fierce Nazi bombardments wrecked havoc on military and civilian facilities. You were too young for that draft, so now, after the war, you decide to leave your family and home and join the effort of rebuilding your country. It's actually kind of nice. It is a, it's a nice little thing to it, and uh, you know, I, I'm ready. Let's 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 get into it. Now, there is one thing about it. It's like the volume in this game is is very low. Um, I tried going to the settings. You can't really mess with the volume, but that's all right. I guess we'll get over it. Uh, let everything load in, maybe. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, it is the beta. It is early, early, early access. So um, just be nice, right? Be nice to the game uh, as things are subject to change, of course. Like, I, I have, like, a rock in my hand, I guess. I don't know. So our main objective in our area quality, okay, right. Now available, or the available, sorry, task journals. The available objectives you are, are displayed in the upper left-hand corner, right. You can switch between the objective categories by pressing the U button, uh, right. Full list of objectives with their detailed description is available in the journal, right. To finish a level, you must complete all the main objectives. Very much so. All right, collect resources. Zero out of 31. Oh my god. Like, every little tiny light bulb tells us what to do. Okay. Right. So, we got that. Um, all right. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> Just select the tool. Open the tools menu by pressing the left alt button. All right. Let's see how that goes. Let's see here. Left alt. See me look down? Oh. Oh, all right. All right. All right. So, collect. I see. Okay. So, I guess... Okay, I guess F is just to collect. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, metal scraps, rubble, wood. Okay, okay. Let's just go ahead and collect everything. So, collect resources, 9 out of 31. Easy enough to do. We can do that. No big deal. Um, yeah. <laughs> metal and rubble, brick and wood. Take resources, not enough resources. Containers. Um, do they spell it wrong here? <laughs> containers waste segregation there's containers spelt this way and then containers spelt this way the containers can store the collected raw materials there are four containers each for the different raw materials approach the container and press lp right so okay like for brick you put it in brick right not enough resources we have wood though and we have rubble and we have metal okay so we done did that we put some resources in there i mean might as well just pick up everything right that's that's the idea here 
What do we need to get? Get 31, right? Okay, so 31. Again, the game is... What the heck? The game is, like, extremely quiet. I don't know why it's so quiet, but it is. Okay. Any more? Yep. Looks like there is a little bit of, kind of like a capacity or some sort in our inventory. All right. So probably now go outside. So we just need one more item. Oh God, one more item. Maybe this, this, you see it. It says zero, it says 30 out of 31. There we go, okay. Okay, collected resources, 150, right. Okay, area quality, one and a half stars. All righty, uh, how do we switch to? So we go upgrades, journal, main objective, before you can leave for London to help with rebuilding, it would be a good idea to leave the farm in order. Start by cleaning the garbage lying all over your workshop, which, look, kind of already did. Uh, collectibles, which is kind of cool to see eventually, I guess. Uh, no upgrades for us that we have available, and then obviously the game tutorial. All right, so let's walk outside. New quest, install the new gutter. Cut off destroyed gutter and insert new one with the scrap tool. Okay. All right. Um... With the scrap tool? What exactly do you mean by the scrap tool? Not the cutter, not a spatula, not a brush, but maybe metal scraps? What? Unless you, okay, wait, you want us to cut off. Okay, so let, read it first, cut off. So like torch it down, wrong cut location, okay. Probably, Okay, it's a wrong cut location, but I would even argue that this might have been the wrong tool at one point, but I guess it was the correct one. Okay, and then we want to maybe use the metal scraps to reinstall it. Okay, all right, install the new gutter. Fantastic. So that, that little gutter was broken on the house. I'm, I'm glad that we were able to, to fix that. Right, okay, move on to the next area. Rebuild the wall now. All right, so let's collect some wood, I guess, some more rubble. And again, we can take all this stuff, put it back into where we need to put it. But let's do that. Let's definitely do that. So there we go. One thing I, 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 I do see is that we don't have to take any of the resources out if we don't want to, maybe? I'm not sure. So clean up old well and build a new one. So we're probably going to need some rubble for this, right? So maybe rubble. Or brick. My guess is rubble. Okay, so I just said it, but I guess I was wrong. We are going to need to take some resources out. So let's go ahead and take a few resources. Take, I guess, all of them. So we only had 16 rubble. And then let's go ahead and build this up. Yeah. Oh, you need the tool. Sorry. Okay. D not the destroyer. Oh, yeah. I guess you break it first. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm understanding it. I thought he wanted us to, like, you know, maybe you know build what we had already on it no it wanted us to simply destroy it and rebuild it completely okay all right clean up the old well all right so now the next thing probably is going to be wood yeah yep yep wood we're gonna need to go grab someone okay all right i like how literal it is though i do have to say pretty cool there we go there we go there we go there and we need more wood okay so if we need more wood, where would one get more wood? Um, I mean, we didn't, did we take all the wood from here? Oh no, we had a lot of wood in there. Okay, we can only carry 20. That's the deal, yo, okay, I see. All right, very good, very good. Uh, put one roof covering, not enough resources, okay. Uh, I'm guessing more wood that will, that will build this off, yeah. Maybe not. Buy or craft a new roof for the well. Oh. Workshop. Buying and crafting. In the workshop, you can buy items with the construction ability or craft them from raw materials. To open the workshop menu, press F. Okay. Ah. Okay. So if we want a roof covering like we need for the well, we got to go ahead and craft this, which takes all this stuff and then more. Crafted. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of information right there. I do have to say, there's a lot, a lot of information right there. But we'll put that in. So there we go. Congratulations, you've completed all the main tasks. Five stars 
for building a well and fixing a gutter. <laughs> right? Great. Um, I'm glad we did the tutorial. I guess the next thing we go to is Gimbert train station, where this is going to be our first, like, real test. It's eight collectibles. As you travel to London to help rebuild the city, your train has been forced to an unexpected stop. The train station in the town of Gimbert is in ruins. Despite the war not reaching these areas, check what happened here and clear the tracks to continue your journey to the capital. All right. I mean, I wish I would have got to learn a little bit more about the whole uh, crafting thing. Uh, but maybe that will come in time. Maybe that will come in time. I'm not too stressed. I'm not too stressed about it, right? Um, so far, I'm intrigued. I'm I'm drawn in. I am I'm definitely drawn in. So highlighting interactive objects. Press left control to highlight the objects you can interact with your hands or select a tool. To use this ability again, you'll need to wait until the cooldown is time time is up. It is represented by the icon. Note that depending on the selected tool, other objects are highlighted. Collectible raw materials will not be highlighted if they cannot fit into the pockets. Right. Okay, so rubble. Okay, hammer demolition tool. Some objects can be destroyed. I I I I assume, right? So break yeah, okay, there we go. Break a pile of dirt. Right. Okay, cool. Whoa, what the heck are you doing here? Hello, good sir. Talk to you. New quest, fix the tower stairs. There's a huge supply of bricks in the tower storage. If I recall, the station master used to close the ground door from the inside, so you'll need to rebuild the stairs. Okay. Whoa. A little bit of optimization. I mean, this game, obviously, we, we know. We know it's early. Very, very early, right? Um, so optimization is going to be something that I'm sure they'll, they'll get around to it. No, no need to stress about that, right? There's the shop again that I don't think I'm ready, like, quite ready to, to dabble myself into again. Repairing with raw materials. So transparent yellow areas can be filled with raw materials. Okay, that's good. So yellow, transparent, raw materials. Great. Okay, that's good to know. Which these are probably the stairs that we need to 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 do, right? Or to re repair. Um, let's go ahead and put some stuff away first. Maybe like some wood. There we go. And then tear this down completely. Right, is that what they want us to do? Yeah, remove completely. I see, I see. But now that we have that completely removed, we can go ahead and start rebuilding this with raw materials. If I can break this, which I'm going to do, take that. There we go. Take all this. Take, take it, take it. Just take it all. Take it all, you madman. Wood is going to be something that we need right now. Okay. All right. Very well. Let's see. Let's go over to wood. And let's start building this bad boy up. There we go. Okay, we need a little bit more wood. There's like a broken pipe here. Ah, we just put it back together. <laughs> right. We turn that off. We put the pipe back together. And it sits. We're doing we're doing the, the work of Christ over here, aren't we? <laughs> all right. Um, I dig it. I, I, all right, I'm in it. I'm in it. There we go. Grab some of that. Not enough space. All right. Let's put some metal in there. Grab some more stuff. Cool. Oh, what the heck? And I mean, if you if you like step back and you take a look at everything, right? You, you look at everything and you're like, well, World War II, right? And, and destroyed and what was destroyed here. It's it's like somebody sneezed, right? Somebody sneezed and this caught wind of it. But like it doesn't change. What the hell am I trying to say? I'm trying to like... I'm trying to say, like, this is barely anything, right? Um, oh, my God. Break? Is this where a collectible is? Nope. All right. I thought that was what it was collectible. I mean, eight collectibles, right? I, I was just trying to say, like, it looks bad here, but this is barely anything. And I think the cool thing, though, is that we can repair it all. Like, I'm just, I, I guess we might be able to repair this entire building. That'd be cool. Yeah. All right. Let's bring out some more raw materials. There we go. Let's build that up. Go up here. Build that. And we need a little bit more wood. Shouldn't be too hard to get. There we go. Ten wood there. And then fix it right there. Alright, cool. So fix the tower stairs completed. We got 45 of that, like, 
construction credits, which is actually in the top right hand corner. Oh my god. Is it a ghost? Hello? I don't like this. Collect. Collectible found. Soham disaster article. I wonder if that's like, that's like a real, um, a real article. Real historic, uh, historic, um, article. What the heck does this do? Okay. 816, this is Gimbert. Say again. My God. We'll call the fire brigade. Do anything you can to detach the carriage with the... What do you mean by... What do you mean by civilians? The schedule says it's supposed to be a military transport. A what? That's against every possible procedure. God help us. Okay. All right. That, that was kind of scary. That, that scared me a little bit. Next objective, I guess, to do is to clear the tracks entirely. So we're going to come here. We're going to clear these bad boys up. Looks like there's a giant train-ish. Not like a... Well, what would be the right, <laughs> correct uh, word for this? Uh, cart uh, thing that you, you, would, you would pull with a train. I guess we need a cutting torch here. So torch cutting. Large metal objects need to be cut into smaller pieces, which we've learned kind of with the gutter type thing there we go I guess we go like all the way through oh how cool is that oh I like it okay not enough room okay so not enough room because we just have too much metal I think on us just go all the way through okay there we go okay okay so hang on a sec come back up here Drop off some metal. Then we should be able to clear these tracks. About one by one, right? Because they are 15. Yeah, one by one. We can only carry 20. So we'll go back and forth here. It's kind of peaceful. It is, right? You know? If you're like a big uh, historian buff, um, you know, European World War II historian buff, um, and you like possibly... Uh, geography to go along with it like this game is probably like something that would be really peaceful and easy for you to pick up and play right i think so all right so there we go a little bit of track action there gotta have like a ton of rubble that needs to go let's get that out of the way too there we go there we go there we go a little bit of that so we did get the one uh collectible and there happens to be about eight so there we go. Let's just grab all this. Okay, quest finish. Clear the tracks. Okay, so we did, we, we got all that. Fix the walls of the station. So, I mean, this is the station right here, yeah? There's a bunch of stuff over here that we still just haven't really cleaned out yet, which we should probably do. Just like that. A ton of rubble. It's like water dripping action. Yeah, there's this. Not looking too hot. Let's see here. So building the brick wall, sometimes you have to build a new wall in the place of one you destroyed brick by brick. Really? Select the bricks? Okay. Window holes will be automatically skipped. If, if, if it's necessary, after building the wall, select the spatula tool, aiming to plaster it. Finally, put the windows in with the wood. Okay. All right. So we got to tear down this entire wall and rebuild it, which is actually really cool. Yeah, that was a... <laughs> that was, I will say, just a little unexpected there. I mean, I don't know. I, like I said, I never never looked into any of this game, but it's really cool to see. In the ruins, you have sometimes find remnants of explosives. You can get rid of them by calling the sappers for a fee or by diffusing it yourself. You have to cut all the wires. Turning on the switch on the left side of the wire will turn on the light at the top. Okay. Oh. Oh, you have found a you have found the bomb. Rare opportunity. You just found an unexploded bomb. The explosive charge is still a threat. It may explode at any time. You need to take care of it. You can notify the sappers and pay them to neutralize the bomb, or you can try to defuse it yourself. I, I want to try to defuse it. Cut. 
Try again. Sapper cost increased by 10. <gasps> it's said to cut. Try again. Okay. Okay. It didn't... Okay, on. Okay, hate that. Okay, zero. Oh, God. Zero, zero, zero. <gasps> what? what? And now it's cost 104. What exactly do you want me to do? I thought you wanted me to cut the wires instead you don't so 40 three or sorry three <laughs> which i don't know all right so i i, I don't know um maybe maybe there's a tutorial on that more on that please because that's kind of like crazy let's see your game guide let's go back to that because i'm very interested in that i obviously don't want to pay anybody if i can do it myself explosives so let's see here turning on the switch on the left side of the wire will turn on the light at the top if the light is red you have to adjust the knob on the right side of the wire until it turns green if the light is green you can cut the wire Look, easy, turn on, adjust the knob, cut it, hey, we did it, okay, so turn this on, now this, now that we've learned, right, how this works, it seems stupidly easy, <laughs> There we go, bomb defuse. Awesome. And we got a hundred for it. Okay, very good. Nice. Alright, well, I'm glad that was we, you know, kind of just reread that. Nothing too crazy. It's a little strange, you know, that we can just defuse bombs, no problem, right? <laughs> we have we have a lot of skills, don't we? Alright, so let's break that, break this. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go. Do I need to take this out? Yeah? No? Okay. I want to get all, like, not all the materials possible, but I want to get everything that I can out of the way and then just have a clean slate that when I'm about, what I'm about to, like, jump into here. All right, let's see here. We want to go brick, yeah? Yeah, we want to go brick. So we can go, we can just press and hold down. Okay, that's good to know. So I wonder how much brick we actually have. Do we have a lot? 100 brick. I mean, I guess we do have a lot. So let's go here. Let's go all the way through. Luckily, we don't have to like, you know, there's not like a crazy thing where it's like, you know, it, 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 it like kind of like how a house flipper is where it's like you're slowed down a lot by um, your skills. Maybe that will be a difference with our skill tree later on, of course, because there's a lot of skill trees and there's a lot, I guess, to this game. Right now, what we're doing is we're just carving out the windows. I think we've ran out of brick. Which is going to be very interesting. Because if we run out of brick. We will run out of. The wall. So now we got to find some more brick. Okay. That's all right. We can find some more brick somewhere. Let's go over here onto this other side. Which by the way. Guess what? More brick. Now is there a lot of opportunity for brick for us well i'm not really sure but i'm glad that we can recycle and repurpose some of these things I do like that oh look at that what do you think is this is this collectible no a little bit of stuff here construction building new constructions can build in places marked with the yellow sign oh you could actually wait you can build an entire building oh that's cool oh that's really cool so manage build area. Building area management. Now decide what you want to do. Firstly, you need to build something. You can choose between a variety of buildings and squares. Once you're happy with your structures, remove building area to unlock placement of props from the shop. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, that's really neat. So you can have a simple platform canopy. Or a large platform can, can, uh, canopy. Now, I don't know how you would be able to cycle through that, but that's all right. Looks like we can cycle through our tools, too, which is cool. That's a good feature. Is there anything else over here that might catch our eye? So call HQ. Not available right now. Interesting. The only thing that I'm kind of a little worried about at the moment is, is the fact that we just... I'm afraid that we won't have enough brick right now hopefully unless we have to like tear through that which we might have to tear through that that canopy there i'm not sure but i'm going to continue putting you know what little brick we have left and then oh i guess pop this bad boy there we go add that to the and that to us now is there anything that we can do with this no okay still a lot of brick left let's see here collect finish other attract wait what cleaning brush so cleaning tool some walls are so dirty you cannot see the interesting objects placed on them unless you use the cleaning brush okay oh god oh wow okay, this is very it's a very touchy mechanic here but this is kind of cool so collect don't be sad teddy evacuation poster oh that's cool right so if we clean this Obviously, we got what we what we what we wanted as far as like the collectible goes, but this is kind of cool. Still not sold completely on not having bricks. Now it might be a rubble thing that we might have to do. Let's see here. No, we 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 it is a strict brick trick brick thing we have going on here now what about if we talk to this man oh wait there's some bricks over there some more bricks a lot more bricks is that going is that going to be enough though i don't think so completely not enough that's all right i mean it is what it is i don't want to take any and put any resources i want to keep everything that i have here there we go. There we go. Okay. Build a new canopy is something that we need to do. Fix the roof of the station, which is going to be the top here eventually that we'll have to do. All right. I'm just, I don't know. I, 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 I want to know where more brick would be i mean you don't get it from the rubble no let's go ahead and put some rubble in there there we go rubble in there dump that off and maybe that will be good for us placing items just bought or crafted on the workshop can be placed on the level unless this there's a lot of like decorative items that you can do as well so wait a sec if i open this you can put the uk flag the fire hydrant street clock vegetation fences oh my lord building materials roof closing roof covering resource containers um scaffolding bars wooden ladders lighting and electricity this is really cool actually so anybody like i said anybody that's into this like historian based or history based and uh you know um like a, like a big world war buff and you want to like rebuild history like this is this is pretty cool really cool actually nice okay not enough space because we have too much wood on us put the wood away there we go i am a little nervous and like admittedly like oh collect 100 bricks dude i was gonna say I'm, i am a little nervous that we don't have enough bricks but it looks like there's an entire box for bricks so that just works out perfectly Okay, right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's continue on here. A little weird that the game doesn't tell you that, hey, by the way, I mean, I guess it's all about discovery, right? But um, I don't know, maybe a little slight hint of, oh, by the way, we left you a, a, a big box of bricks <laughs> to rebuild the wall. Unless it did, <laughs> unless the game did tell me, and I just way overlooked it, which I don't know, maybe. 
but this should do the job. We should be able to finish off everything we need to do here. We should be able to do the plastering, put in the windows, things like that. There go. Very good. There go. It's getting a little bit harder now that it's getting up there. Right? I can obviously see where maybe if you wanted to have scaffolding or a ladder, that could come in. That could really be useful. We have 155. I don't even know what to call it. It's like building credits. Which I think, I, you know, for right now, I guess I'll call it building credits. We have 155 of those. How much bricks do we have? We have zero bricks now. Wow, that still wasn't enough bricks for us. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. Well, for at least right now, we're going to go ahead and just kind of move over across this, this platform. We're going to put up this new, like, I don't know, this new platform station thing. And we have actually quite a bit of metal to do so. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And there's a lot of materials over here. Plus, I mean, it's part of our objective anyways to build a new canopy, which I believe this is what it is, right? Canopy or fix the roof, whatever they want to call it. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do this, which is kind of cool. I do like it. Um, one thing that I was I saw looking through it is that there's also a tier for uh, decoration. So the game is going, going to want you to decorate uh, the area eventually, eventually, which is cool. Uh, buying a roof that's gonna take brick kind of sucks considering the fact that that's one of the resources that we're just out of is brick but maybe i just need to look a little bit better i guess i don't know where would where would brick be where would one find some bricks ah all righty so there is a little bit of something here um again a little actually quite unexpected and i'll show you what i what i see here uh, you go upstairs right and and the whole idea is to to find bricks so there's like a little hatchet here that um i don't know at first glance and you would just not even think about but there happens to be a hatchet which drops in and guess what you find a bunch of bricks and then you walk on out and then you fix this up <laughs> it's funny not used to something like that but that's that's cool i like to, to, that, that there's going to be a little bit of hiding uh hidden treasures i guess you could say in this game um you know it's just a little little weird to have i don't know i mean if you're if you're thinking about it here like why why would there be bricks and things like that all locked up and hidden away um i'm not sure were they expecting this building to be hit hard by forces or were they like I don't know. I don't know actually the, the the story behind that. I mean, you have to assume these cities back in the day they they were expecting uh, some kind of war, right, <laughs> uh, to come and ravage through the city. Now, before um, the war got close to home, were these people were they preparing to rebuild already? In the sense of like we will have materials ready so that when the time does come, we will be able to rebuild after. Right, does, it, does that make any sense? Like, oh, you know what? I know my, my building's going to get bombed or I know my building's going to get destroyed. I'm going to go out and buy some bricks. Um, I'm going to prepare for that aftermath kind of situation. I don't know. I don't know what the uh, whole whole thing is about that. That could be something. That could be something very much so. Uh, that that could have definitely happened back then. Get some more bricks. But regardless, this is going to be beautiful after we're done with it. I promise you. Only problem is, is that um, <laughs> we're we're running out of we're running out of height here. We're gonna need something, at least a ladder or something of some sort, rather. And I, I think the reason why I'm kind of like avoiding it is that the game hasn't hasn't properly introduced me to hey maybe you should get a ladder, maybe you should get a scaffolding, and I was hoping the game would do that instead of just having me like. You know fend for myself in a way some people like that some people don't i like i don't like the game to hold my hand 100 percent right but i do like it when a game shows you how a mechanic is supposed to work right so let's see here let's go to tools because you know i 155 credits you don't know how much you have right like you don't know why um why you need that like what is what is the value of the credits you know what i mean but we're gonna go ahead and put this here and hopefully we can, yep, we can climb it. And we'll start using this properly. Now, the scaffolding probably would be better for obvious reasons. Because now this is, like, kind of awkward. 
in a way because you gotta like place it and i guess you can rotate it probably the best way to do this it's a little awkward go up here i guess and then add that do that okay now we can go ahead and plaster plaster the entire wall oh wow <laughs> that's pretty cool i do like that cool neat okay so now that we have the wall plastered uh we can go ahead and start adding in our windows with wood which takes 10 wood which isn't too bad we can just go ahead and grab a couple of these and then put them in and that will be that very very good we're gonna go ahead and pick up the wood ladder while we're here so there we go we fixed the wall which is good now they want us to build a new canopy fix the roof of the station and things like that uh, which is really cool, but I, I think this is going to be a good spot to stop um, because we were really just kind of looking at this game and let's look at and getting our first, you know, taste of, of what World War II Rebuilder could be. And I think it could be a lot of good things for sure. And I think um, if you liked what you see and you liked, um, you know, the whole, like, if you had, like house build, like house flipper and stuff like that, uh, house builder even as well, um this might be another game for you to look out for for sure but thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today we did check out this game um if you want to see it to become a series and me go full into it um uh, then let me know down uh, down in the comment section below and when the game does release and does come out we'll definitely uh, visit this back once again but thank you all and i will see you in the next video wherever that may be and do as always take care